Hey guys, how's it going? Um, got two cups of cold water and a Snow Peak 600 on top of the Sterno stove with a cover. Start. Let's see how long it takes this to boil and uh, if we need to use the probe uh, because it's not reaching a rolling boil, we'll find out. Um, this is um, Sean from House of Fire 72's Sterno stove that I used yesterday on my outing and um, want to get a uh, final definitive uh, time on um, how long it takes to boil two cups of cold water. I'm pretty impressed with it. I didn't think that it would do as well as it did and um, it makes it a viable option for certain outings for me. Um, it's, uh, you know, Sterno takes a little, more, a little longer to cook than some other fuels, but uh, it's certainly a viable option, especially um, if you're just uh, reheating food and such. But uh, we'll get the word right now on uh, the boil time. All right, see you in a All right, right, guys, we're at the uh, five minute mark and um, gonna lift this cover and get a indication of where, where we're at with the temperature at this point. We're at around 99, 99 degrees at five minutes and 17 seconds with the cover on outdoors. So let's see where she goes. All right, guys, we're at almost 10 minutes. We're at 127 degrees. It's um, 57 degrees out here. There's a slight breeze, maybe five miles an hour. Um, and like I said, 130 degrees. Cover's on. Small space right here. Uh, gonna remove that see if that's gonna help us a little bit guys we're approaching 15 minutes and let's see what we got for a temperature on this uh, oh we're starting to climb up there all right we're at around 160 161 degrees at 15 minutes and uh, you know 19 seconds Let's see what happens when we're at uh, the 20 minute mark. I mean, uh, Sean's stove is extremely well designed. Um, with this titanium, it's not as slippery as it, um, as it was with uh, the uh, square container that we had yesterday, the stainless container. But, um, you know, just a couple of little knurls on it would... Uh, I gotta see if they're flat enough. Sean had sent me a message saying they're probably uh, pre uh, one of one of his uh, prototypes. And yeah, it looks like they can they can be adjusted a little more. So I'll probably just do that. Um, like I said, the stove is is uh, stainless steel. It's very high quality. It's well designed. It's making very efficient use of the Sterno. But Sterno is what it is. Um, if you're gonna be pushing the limits in colder weather. Um, I mean, this is just my opinion that it looks like it's really pushing the limits of its practical application. Um, it's only, f it's 57 degrees. It's, it's, it's not really, you know, considered cold as far as, uh, camping and backpacking, but, um, I wouldn't want to depend on it if it was, uh, the middle of the winter, but then again, I could be done, doing something wrong. All I'm going to do is this, this final test. This is going to be my final word on uh, Sterno use because his stove is uh, fantastic. I don't know if anyone's ever used the M71 and if they gotten, they've gotten water to boil. Somebody could send me a message and let me know if they've ever had water boil with the M71. Um, this is definitely, um, my guess, is going to do much better than the M71. All right, guys. Almost 20 minutes in. Stick the probe in, see what we got. Okay, we're up to 180 degrees at the 20 minute mark. And um, that's what it looks like on the inside. It's pretty hot. Let's see if we can finish bringing it to the boil. Let's see what's back. Guys, we're approaching the 25 minute mark. Let's see what, oh yeah, there's a head of steam in there. Let's see what we get for temperature. Oh, cool. We're at 100, oh, great, 200. 
and two degrees three at 25 minute mark 04 205 almost out of boil okay 205 she stopped 25 minutes we'll give it uh, another minute or two all right guys we're um, at 211 for a temperature bouncing around between 210 to 11 at 28 minutes and we should reach a boil any second okay any second All right, 28 minutes and 33 seconds. 28 minutes and 33 seconds. Now, hold on here, stop that. Um, this is gonna be my final test on Sterno. I'm not a big fan of Sterno, that's part of the reason. It's 57 degrees outside, it's five mile an hour wind. I'm behind a wind break, and it's gonna take, you know, that long. Uh, and that's not, a, that's not a, a condition of the stove, that's a condition of the fuel. Um, the stove is very well built, rigid, and extremely efficient, and it's making use of uh, Sterno to bring water to a um, boiling temperature, 212. Now take a look at the inside. We're working on 29 minutes, and here we go, rolling boil at 29 minutes. So you can do it. It does happen. Um, 29 minutes of rolling boil. It's a... Uh, a little longer than I would want to wait in the woods, but Sean was able to engineer something that actually boils water with Sterno. So, um, in uh, the previous test that I did indoors, it was 80 degrees in the house, and um, we boiled water uh, in a, in a uh, shorter period. Um, I don't recall exactly what it was, but it was in the uh, 10 minute range, probably uh, eight, eight to ten minute range so um, if you're going to be using this outdoors and it's windy um, any colder than this and any windier than this you're going to be waiting uh, more than 30 minutes so and like I said right now it's 57 degrees but about a five mile an hour breeze so a, a great option for many different outings for different disaster scenarios for warm weather um, stuff I'll probably reserve this stove for uh, reheating reheating food on uh, different outings and um, I probably would just choose to boil water with something a little quicker but it's a great little stove all right safe trails peace